Okay, welcome to second part of the character animation and this time we're gonna animate this boy Let me open up this one. I did this a couple of years last year <laughs> Yeah, it's kinda cool. So in English, hello, it's Bello For you, it's Paretu <laughs> Marriage Labora Actually, I love this one, ass But speak about me it's just funny I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put this uh, in the description so that you can download this one it's pretty funny anyways um, back to my oops sorry back to my and uh, let's set him up ready for the walk cycle okay let's look at the footage what do we have we have a guy walking in stylized pop and you can see the beats pop 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 so he's pretty fast but we are going to be concentrating on the body mechanism and the line of action i usually like to tell a lot of people that the key poses are basically the poses that uh, where the character like changes the the direction for example um if uh, for example right here we may see this could be a key pose and this could be a key pose and this could be a key pose so three and we complete our book cycle and also i actually view the key poses are the as the the contacts and uh, like where the character touches touches something where you contact to something and the uh, in-betweens can always be like these ones or these ones you see all these ones so let me break it down to three poses and we can do our walk cycle so I'm gonna start out with this one, which I think is a key pause. So let me do this. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. This is my reference footage, and I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna create space out here. Um, tap, and then open up my picker. We can take this pause and make it real quick so rotate your character um for those who are new to maya how to rotate a character how to orbit the character you i'm using pc so you select alt and left mouse button and to pan you select alt you hold and middle mouse button and to zoom in it's alt hold and right mouse button so that's easy i'm gonna go in four views that's where I see my character in all the views so right now I'm gonna be using this view the front view and the side view right here now I want my character to face that way so I'm gonna go to view um preferred predefined bookmarks and go to left yeah we're good so in order to get into these views I might have to hover my mouse and uh, press the spacebar for example I want this one I'm gonna do that or this one I'm gonna do that you know what I'm saying yeah so let me get to the side view and uh, go to shading smooth shade and I'm gonna leave my controls because I'm gonna use this side view as this one right here you know what I'm saying? Yep. Let me close this one and uh, open up this channel box right here. Pop, and uh, we're good. I'm going to front view, do the same, smooth shade, and uh, I think we're we're good. And I'm uh, what I'm gonna have to do is keep this and uh do the same out here not really out here i can just work with this 
the perspective, the front view, and the side view. And if you over the mouse and press A, it's gonna center your object. Okay. At this point, we're ready to save. So I'm gonna go to File, um, Save Scene as. It's on our desktop. I'm gonna create a folder and right walk on zero one. Open it up and I'm gonna write the file to work zero one and uh, click save us. Okay. Okay, I think uh, by this time we're ready to pause our character. But before that, let's open up the this right here. It's called uh, the preference, or you can find it from Windows settings and preference preference. And we're gonna set up some things. Go to um, animation. Make sure you tangent tangents which are used in uh, in defining the cars from pause to pause are set to um, flat and uh, default out tangent say to um, stepped I'm sh I'm, I'll show you why say to this one and click save oh sorry before that we have to make sure in our slider, where's the slider? Come on, come on, come on, time slider. It's the playback speed set to play every frame so we can get that right. Okay, now we are ready to pause our character. Now I'm gonna use this one as the reference to pause my character and select my minion right here. So I'll be back when I pause my first pause of this card and pausing it's really simple let me show you a little bit I don't want to take all of your time um, from right here you may see you can go select the IK of the foot and move the foot use the handles if you want to rotate the foot if you want to move the foot so you pause him exactly like this pose I'm gonna pause the character I'm gonna do my three poses which are this one the next one is gonna be this one which is a contact and the third one is gonna be this one so we're gonna have three poses in the meantime and see what we have next so see you there and before that let me show you how to hide this sword because it's pretty like gonna com confuse us okay uh, go to windows outliner and uh, find this sword where it is toggle down um, toggle down yeah, it's right here. It's sword finion. So I must select that together. My press shift and together with the handles. I'ma come right here. This is the layer layers tab. So I'ma click right here. It said create a new layer and assign selected objects. So I'ma do that. And as you see created a new layer close this one double click and uh, write a name that it will be sword and click save so I'm gonna disable this by clicking this one pop and as you see it's gone but if you want it back you can always toggle between this one so see you on the next video next part where i show you the three main poses of our rig and we're gonna go from there thanks <laughs>